Last time we were at this abandoned church in St. Elizabeth, Manitoba, my suke was pulled by an unknown spirit. It was the most real piece of paranormal activity that I've ever experienced, and we've been wanting to return ever since. It was brought to our attention by some of our fans that the reason this may have happened is because we let go of the planchette when the ladder fell during our Ouija board session. This time, we have returned with a necklace that belonged to a former resident of this ghost town passed down to a family member who saw our video and got a hold of us. She feels that her great grandmother's spirit is still alive in St. Elizabeth and is hoping that we can make contact with her. The first time we were here, we had no idea what we were looking for. We had almost no knowledge of this place. And Hangman's Church was really just the name that we came up with it for the noose that we found in the bell tower. But doing a little bit more research into St. Elizabeth, like first of all, we found no evidence of any hangings happening here, but the history of tragedy in St. Elizabeth is far worse than either of us could have imagined. And it's no surprise why St. Elizabeth became a ghost town. The church was built in 1903 and finished in 1905 and costed $3,500 to complete, which would be around $80,000 in today's money. At the time, there were 47 families and a population of 324 residents living in St. Elizabeth. In 1910, tragedy struck the Burnesh family as scarlet fever took the lives of their four children. That same year, the Marion family was dealt the same misfortune, losing four children of their own to scarlet fever. The town barber, David Landry, almost lost four children of his own due to an explosion in his home while he was adding kerosene to a lamp. He and his wife were able to save one child by jumping out of a second story window, but their other three children perished in the blaze. The history of death of children and death by fire continues. In 1913, the Dupuy family lost their barn along with 18 horses to a fire, and in 1930, the St. Godard family lost three children to a fire. It feels to us that St. Elizabeth may be cursed by an evil spirit that lurks in the town, taking children in groups of four, and burning down buildings. And whatever it is, it seems to be centered around the old abandoned church, which coincidentally, or not coincidentally, was burnt down and rebuilt in 1951. Was the two pulling spirit a former resident, one of the children playing games, or is it something much, much more sinister? When we got there, I decided to move the dolls um, away from the podium just because they were near a picture of what we believe is probably the, the priest. Um, we didn't want to get him in the frame, so I moved them to the replica build of the church itself. And in one shot, I, I had went to grab a light and I panned it around to um, bring the light to Jordan. And then I had to quickly run to the K, uh, get the K2 meter from the truck. And the doll was on the ground, but it, it was in such a weird position that it looked like it was sitting upright in the door frame. It could have fallen. Um, we did notice a crack in the doll's head. Um, and sometimes I wear headphones when we record just so I can monitor the mic level. So it could have fallen, but I didn't hear it and it didn't appear that Jordan had heard it. So that I found strange, but it's kind of take it as you wish. Okay, uh, let's start that spirit box session. we do a spirit box first. Yeah, I want to do the spirit box and then okay, see if we can at least uh, reach out to somebody. Oh, you know what, actually? Okay, first I got to grab the K2 meter and then... Oh, you forgot the K2? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> but it's in my truck. All right. I'll be right here. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Whoa. Oh. Huh? What's up? This doll is on the ground. Did you hear that? Those upstairs? I heard something like from the stair stairwell or I something. I swear, yeah, obviously it was right there. Was it like on the edge of the table or something?
I don't know. I don't know where I heard something up here. Hello? Hello? I swear, did you hear it or no? No, I heard it. Hello? No. I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we probably have that. Let's go up to that newsroom again. You want to go up there? Yeah, man. You I want to go first? I've been, I'll go first. I don't care. See, this is I've been, I've been wanting, that stuff that we tripped over last time, too. Yeah. All that fencing. I've been wanting to get back into this room <laughs> to see it again. Oh, it's gone. Somebody cut, it down. Somebody cut it down. Well, they got rid of the, the loop or whatever. Yeah. Oh, God. I mean, that's probably a good thing. Probably. I wonder if somebody saw our video and was like, oh, I gotta get rid of that. Or somebody actually does. Imagine do falling down there. See. That was the chair I was sitting in, too, wasn't it? This, yeah, that's the one you were sitting in. But see, that a lot of people were saying is, why not go up there? But there's no way. Oh, my God. What was that? You good? I almost fell. My foot stuck in there. Is uh, <laughs> I almost made me laugh. <laughs> is um, that like we couldn't get up there? Look, go stand up there so I can see how tall. Like, go stand against that wall, so you can get a height reference of how high up that thing is. Man, it's like there's no way. Almost twenty feet. There's no way we can get up in there. You hear that? Yeah. If you're, if that's you, can you make that noise again? All right. Thank you. What did you, what did you say her name was? Uh, Louisa, the grandmother. Louisa, if that's you, can you make that noise one more time, please? Oh my god. <laughs> Freaked me out. All right. Thank you. You want to go? I don't even want to go down there. All right. <laughs> oh, I <got> dude. <laughs> All right. Why are you carrying that thing around, man? I swear to I, I swear to god I didn't move it. I swear to god. I'll sh I'll even show you the footage. There's footage of it? Yeah, here. Look. All right. Now, if someone wants to let us know they're here, they can just ring the bell. And we can do like, you know, if the answer is yes, ring the bell. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So if you do the sensory deprivation now, mm -hmm. and then we do the Ouija board scene after, then it would make more sense because last time we did it the other way around. We did the yeah. Ouija board first, and then we did the sensory deprivation at the end. I mean, I just knew when we get the sensory deprivation kind of out of the way, I'm really curious if the same thing will happen again. Oh, yeah, oh, you're not wearing the same two. I'm not wearing the same two. I wanted to get a pinch on it. Okay, well, obviously you're doing the sensory deprivation then. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it. What the fuck was that? I definitely did just move on to someone, right? <laughs> yeah. Holy fuck. Well, honestly, it doesn't look like a surprise to me. Honestly. Yeah. What the fuck was that? I don't think I caught it on this camera. Hang on, hang on. I don't know if I want to go near it, though. <sighs> 
Do you hear that? I swear. Hello? I swear to God, dude. I keep hearing like footsteps walking around. Do you? Yeah, it's the same footsteps like from the. That last, oh, yeah, the that's right. Video. In the same spot. In the same spot. That happened while we were doing the Ouija board session. It's just the same. Okay, well, here, take this. I'm going to grab this camera. I'll check over Obviously, whatever plans we had to do for a Ouija board session or anything else just completely went out the window when those bells just moved right beside us. Um, our expectations for a sensory deprivation session were high because this is the room that we've had the most activity in. This is the room where my tooth got pulled last time. But it was very hard for me to sit there not knowing what's going to happen to me this time. So he clearly isn't anywhere near this bell. Is your name Louisa? Me. Me. No. Did you have any of the... Got you. Got you. Did you... One. Were, were you the mother of any of the kids that died here? We know that there was 14 kids that passed away in a short period of time here. A lot of them were due to a fire. Is that true? Really long. Ah. Uh, okay, I'll Lou, that new. Snowing. If that was you. Can you move that bell again? Did you used to live in one of the houses across the street? Me. Can you t can you tell Jordan how old you are when you died? Hello. Hello. Hello to you. Good. Too. Can you tell him how old you were? Did this necklace, did that necklace that Jordan's wearing, did that belong? Jonathan. Did that belong to you? Thank you for saying my name. Hi. So it did belong to you? Fever? Fever, did it, was that scarlet fever? Is that how your mm. child died? Did. Did? Holy fuck. Are you in this room with us? Oh. Can you do that again? Was your name Louisa? Or am I speaking to somebody else? Children. Ch children? So we're speaking to the children right now? Graveyard. Do you want us to come to the graveyard? Coming back to the church for a second time, we definitely didn't want to miss anything, so we brought three SATA cameras, aside from the cameras we normally use, and placed them in areas that we remember hearing noises and things banging the last time we were here. Um, and that's just mostly so we don't miss anything. As we were setting up the Ouija board, our K2 meter is going absolutely nuts. Yeah, it's insane. And it's right beside also the necklace that we were given to try to contact Louisa. So, and I, I'm really hopeful in this because we've not, not really had much luck with the Ouija boards, but I mean, given the activity that we've had tonight so far, 
end this right now. I think something probably will happen with the Ouija board. Hopefully. Let's do it. Here we go. That thing's went nuts. I've never seen it do that. Like usually like a microwave makes it go up to yellow. Yeah, I wonder if it's, I wonder if everything that's been going on is because of letting go of the punch out last time. Probably. Like that's probably why my two got pulled last time too. Yeah. Whatever, whatever happens, just don't let go this time. No. Um, All right. Okay, so if that's you moving that K2 meter, is that because this is your necklace or you know who it belonged to? If so, move it to yes or move it to no. Whoa. Did you see, feel that? Yeah, that was a, it moved, it definitely moved. Were you trying to, were you trying to move it to yes or to spell your name? <clears throat> Holy shit. Okay, don't let go. Did you feel what the fuck happened? The thing fell. That that thing fell. Yeah, but why did it fucking fall? I never saw the light, and Jordan says as well, he never saw the motion light going off. But if you watch closely, it looks like um, an entity of some sort is moving past the motion light, setting it off, knocking the picture down, and then with one of our static cameras, you can see what I, I believe is a shadow at least moving across from right to left of the screen. I There's something over there. It's like it's everywhere in this I place. Know. I kinda wanna go check that out. Fucking light was shaking. I kinda wanna go check out what that was over there. Okay, well, let's say goodbye. Make sure we say goodbye this time. Right down here. Okay. No. Goodbye. Okay, I'll grab this. Yeah, take this one. Too. Okay. Oh, the sauce spike. Do you know somebody on this photo, or in these photos? I don't know. Yeah, but well, like, why now? Why would it just fall down? Okay. That was, yeah. Holy shit, that freaked me out. Dude, I'm about ready to fucking leave. Like, I've had, I've had enough. Honestly. It's so constant in this place. Yeah. Like, what if that just moved? Hello? Hello? Louise, is that you? Hello? Hello? Louise? Lu Louisa? I think it's Louisa. I think it's Louisa. Oh, shit. I, uh, well, coming back here again, it's like, I just remember she's being thrown at you, and that fucking ladder being on the ground. I don't know. I don't even know like what we're still like looking for here. I I got to see up up here. Here, hold actually hold for a second. I'll go. Somebody was up yeah, there. this whole time. Messing with us. If anybody's up here, make a noise now because I don't want to. Like, I don't know even know what's scarier if there's like another person or a ghost, you know? Yeah, that's what I thought. This is one of the scariest things I've ever done. Standing on a hundred year old ladder looking for somebody in the attic. <laughs> Yeah, get get out. Yeah, get out now. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I think I'm kind of done.
I don't know. Like, I'm starting to feel like I'm starting to, yeah, I'm, yeah. Like, like, I'm starting to really feel like it's not it's not like oh girls just move something or whatever. It's starting to feel like there's something else going on. It's kind of wrapping up a bit. Like every single time that I hear one of those noises already, it's it's getting to the point where it's just like my anxiety is starting to build up a bit. Yeah, it's just it's, it's starting to feel like it's not even worth it anymore. It's like no. we got what we came for. Like make sure like we're okay by the end of the night. Yeah. So pack up. Maybe we can go pay some respects at the graveyard. Yeah, and I think that that's it. Cause I can't. I don't know. I'm kind of done. A yeah. Okay. Let's just blow up these candles in. Okay. Normally, we don't do any kind of prayer or cleansing ritual before or after going to a location, um, but this one was a little bit different for me. Um, seeing Jordan freaked out really kind of took a toll on me and I wanted to go to the graveyard and pay respects to who or whatever we were um, communicating with the night we were there. Um, even though we both don't feel like it was a human or a spirit um, that ever was in a living body, we think it was a lot darker than something like that. Whatever was here tonight was somebody that was living and buried here. And we appreciate you communicating with us. Yeah, it's almost hard to believe that this is a real town that people actually like lived in. There was like a barber shop and everything here. I know it's yeah. like nothing. This is all that really is left. Unfortunately, I had to tell the family member that we don't believe that we were able to contact her great grandmother, but the spirit that we were dealing with seemed to be very interested in the necklace and for reasons as to why that would be, we don't know. Maybe Louisa herself was performing seances and the spirit had seen it before. Um, the family member, she doesn't know if her great grandmother was into the paranormal or anything like that, but she was very thankful that we tried to contact her at least. St. Elizabeth is a ghost town with a dark past and the amount of pain and suffering that happened here is far beyond what either of us could imagine. And if this truly is an evil spirit that's going around taking children in groups of four and causing fires, we feel that it's only right for us to not come back here and let these spirits rest in peace. Mark my words, I will never set foot in Hangman's Church again. Hangman's Church again. Hangman's Church again.